I want to see speed. Everybody fly around to the ball. That's what I need them to say. The mugs move fast. the Titans but you can see we're still crazy about this team we're still in first place in the AFC South we're still rolling playoff is in our sight. We'll get to that. I'm a little hyped, as you can see. It's Christmas. I love this time of year. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Titans Blitz. I'm Lance Smith. You're not here to see me. You're here to see this guy. <laughs> CJ2K Chris Johnson is joining us tonight. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays. Good to see you, sir. Glad to be here. Glad yeah? to be here. You yeah. getting ready for the, for the big season, for the big day? Yeah, again. Not tomorrow night's game for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, I know for yeah. Christmas or whatever. <laughs> um, be glad when it's over. <laughs> <laughs> the kids anxious? Yeah, yeah. The kids anxious. They ready to open presents and all that. You ready to move it up? Uh, today's yeah. Christmas. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, get it done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Well, uh, good to have you back. Let's get into it. Let's talk about this game. Let's do some hot takes with CJ. Uh, we're also going to get to know you a little bit later. We've got some fun stuff planned for this, uh, this show. But let's talk about this game that was against the Pittsburgh Steelers, the game that, as we all watched, thought, ooh, looking good. Ooh, in control. Ooh, what happened? <laughs> um, uh, of note, moving on to next week's A.J. Brown, by the way, cleared to play. Yeah. So fingers crossed we'll get him tomorrow night. Chris Jackson. Chris Jackson, the other side of the ball. Cleared, uh, returning from IR. So hopefully we get those guys on the field tomorrow night. Unfortunately... Taylor Lewan, Roger Saffold out for tomorrow, which some of you may have heard. Oh, yeah. That's a big ouch. Yeah. We'll get to that. Uh, let's talk about uh, this game. Turnovers. Turnovers. It's so frustrating. Mm. You don't plan on it to happen. Mm. You just got to suck it up and deal with it. But, I mean, on the sideline, how much does this hurt to watch? It hurt, it hurt a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, any time where we have three, four, 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 four three fumbles, uh, interception, yeah. Yeah, anytime you have four turnovers, that's going to be hard to win that game. You're giving the other team four more opportunities than mm -hmm. they normally would have. And, you know, anytime you lose the, the turnover battle, it's a good chance that, that you're going to lose that game. Yeah, as you can see, uh, takeaways give away the ratio of negative seven now for the year. We were on the positive side of that. Look, that the turnover thing, that is not uh, indicative of a Mike Rabel team. Right. So you know he's handling it, you know they're taking care of it, but uh, yeah, and now with that, okay, we hung in there, uh, it came down to the wire, one yard short, dare I say, mm -hmm. of moving forward. I, I hate that phrase, but it's something we know. Uh, but the defense, though, give it up for this defense because, yeah. look, sometimes it's the offense that's running with things, yeah. sometimes the defense is running with this defense. was was something to watch allowed the fewest yards since 2010 surrendered to mm. only 168 total yards against Pittsburgh. They were kicking field goals because that's where they were getting the ball, but the mm. defense was shutting them down. When you watch games today, CJ, do you watch do you watch what the defense is giving the offense? What do you, how do you view a game? I definitely watch what the defense is doing and stuff like that because these days and and ages, they want they wanted to throw the ball all over the mm -hmm. field and put up all these points. Yeah, they want that for the entertainment. But back to the old days when you playing good defense, you running the ball and stuff like that. So I like to watch the game, watch a game where it's a good defense going on. And that's what we were doing. That's um, what we were doing in this yeah. game. So yeah. talk to me about what you see uh, in our defense because uh, I'll swarm tackling mm -hmm. uh, Dupree, Autry, Jones. Uh, all sacks, uh, all getting sacks. Uh, that they, they were two for 11 third down mm. conversions. The Steelers were. Mm. I mean, so as an offensive player, seeing our defense, I mean, it, it's they're stellar, right? Yeah, they're stellar. Oh, weakness there. Yeah, anytime you got a defense that's gonna um, get on the quarterback and frustrate the quarterback, that's the that's the number one thing. You know, if you frustrate the quarterback, um, you should have a good day. And then we swarm into the ball, making tackles stopping their run game, all the, all the right things we need to do. And if you look at the overall game, for us to have four turnovers mm. and still almost win the game, right. that's a that's a good good point to look at. The the We've lost three out of the last four, and in these three losses, turnovers is the story. And we're still in it, and we're still in it. So yeah. pump the brakes, 
We'll, we'll get it fixed. Uh, another tip of the hat, a uh, new guy to the team, Zach Cunningham, led the team in tackles, actually. The guy was hitting hard, uh, punishing uh, players on the field. So great to see uh, Cunningham's debut with the team. He's fitting in nicely. Of course, Vrabel likes to uh, work with the guys he knows well. Uh, hard hitter. Mm. Man. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, uh, something you know so well, the, our rushing game, even without Derrick Henry. Uh, Deontay Foreman is a force, man. Uh, nope. See what I did there? Uh, <laughs> 22 rushes, over 100 yards. Kind of runs like Henry. Likes to, likes to hurt. Okay, I, I didn't say he was Henry. <laughs> and he's looking at me like, come on, man. Show Henry some respect. Yeah. Uh, but he does. He, he likes to punish uh, uh, def would-be defenders. Like watching him run. What do you see out of Foreman? Yeah, he's a he's a hard runner. Yeah, and I said something about him a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. about him coming in, and I think he was a two thousand yard rusher in college. Yeah, or whatever. But anytime you got a good offensive line that's gonna open the holes, and you got somebody to come in there and and run the ball hard, that's yeah. that's kind of like our formula. We're gonna play good defense and run the ball, and I can see him getting more comfortable as as the game go on, and yeah. the more games he's playing, he's getting more and more comfortable, and um, I think he'll be a big force for us. I'd like to pair him with Henry. I'm just saying that's a lot of meat in the backfield right there. Uh, the team as a total in this game put up over 200 yards on the ground, something I know you like to see. All right, uh, CJ's going to hang out. We're going to get to know this guy a little bit better, uh, a little bit uh, more for the holidays, mm -hmm. find out what, you, what you know, you're up to. Right now, though, as we go to break, here's some Nissan memorable moments. Stick around, Titan Blitz. Tannehill, big push, touchdown, tight. That's seven on the year. He's in trouble. Roethlisberger, sack. Roethlisberger, he's grabbed. He is sack. Bud Dupree <laughs> has seen it before. <laughs> Titans Blitz coming to you live from Nissan Stadium, downtown Nashville. Lance Smith, Chris Johnson, back with you. Uh, you know, the holidays are upon us. We've got a game tomorrow night. It's a great season. We're all gathered together. So we thought we'd slow things down a little bit on this segment and uh, have a little wine time with CJ2K, uh, sponsored by the official wine club of the Tennessee Titans, the Foolish Club. Check this out. The Foolish Club is the perfect gift for the upcoming holiday season. You can Give the gift just a sh first shipment of these amazing Napa Valley wines or truly surprise that special someone or join to gain access to the special member store for the holidays. Foolish Club members receive exclusive access to amazing gifts. There's a vast selection of three bottle and single bottle wooden crate gift sets that will be sure to please any Titans fan. Go to foolishclub.com for more info and to join the club. So I raise a glass to you, sir, and to the fans here, to our uh, all the uh, Titan Nation out there. Enjoy. I'm drinking the... Uh, rough and dressed myself. <laughs> mm. That's what my wife calls me. Okay, so, uh, but I want to get to know you a little bit better here in our little wine time. This is great. Um, favorite segment of the year. CJ, it's the holidays, mm. so I want to know you a little better. We've got a list of questions here. I'm going to ask you a little this or that. Would you rather? Okay. Here we go. First up, favorite holiday gift you ever got as a child, actually. Um, yeah. Um, my mom and dad got me and my brothers the Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis? Yeah, Sega Genesis. Sega! Yeah, Sega. Yeah, put a lot of hours in that thing. Yeah. Any football games? Yeah, the okay. um, prime time. Of course, of course. Prime time. That's what got him right. It's got his start. <laughs> uh, best holiday song, worst holiday song? Best holiday song. Um, I like the Mariah Carey. See, I think that's the same answer. Yeah, I like them right Yeah, <laughs> curious. It's, um, it's the best and worst because by the end of it, you're like, yeah, yeah, it's kind of done yeah. for next year. All right. Yeah. Uh, would you rather? Would you rather sing a Christmas carol in public or a dance in the Nutcracker? Probably dance in the Nutcracker. I figure that because you're an athlete and that's a physical yeah. performance. With no a lot of wine, though, I need a lot more Foolish Club to get this man on stage at the <laughs> Nutcracker. All right. Uh, would you rather have a white Christmas? Or a tropical Christmas? Um, tropical. Tropical? Yeah. All right, don't want the cold? Oh, no, I hate it. White or tropical? Tropical. Tropical? tropical. Lots of tropical. Cold. White, white. Mm -hmm. In Tennessee, we say tropical. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, uh, real tree, artificial tree? 
Um, real, real tree. That's I gotta have a real mm -hmm. tree. Uh, elf ears forever or a Santa beard forever? Um, Santa beard. Right, because at least it's natural. Yeah, Santa beard. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is a weird, I like this one. Experience Christmas in 1800 or 2100? Uh, I'd say 2100. 21, right, you might yeah. be wearing a hazmat suit all the yeah, time. Yeah, ain't no telling. <laughs> Radiation <laughs> fallout, who knows? Yeah, all right, oh, and then lastly, I want to get to this real quick. Uh, look. This we'll call this the nice list. Your two favorite runs of all time. The first one you said because I asked you this earlier against the, the Texans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the Texans. We haven't pulled up. Why this particular run right here? Um, because when I was coming into the league or whatever, they was trying to say like I was a, a smaller back, <laughs> third down it. back that um, <laughs> that I couldn't break tackles and stuff like that. So. You didn't necessarily break tackles. You bounced off like a pinball and mm -hmm. just kept going. And who was that that you trucked over? Um, that was Brian Cushing. That yeah. was yeah, Brian Cushing. Go all the time. Not a lot of guys trucked time. Brian Cushing. Uh, and the next up, CJ versus the Jags. This is the same season, right, 09? Yeah, same season. Yeah. Okay. And, and same reason? Is yeah, same reason. Same I love reason. this run. I've seen this yeah. run a few times. Whoop! Yeah. yeah. Did you like contact? You liked it because they said you couldn't. No, I love contact. Yeah. I always loved contact. Loved it. Yeah. And then loved getting away from it, as you did yeah. often. All yeah. down the field. Uh, all right. I love it. I love it. Uh, CJ2K, man, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. It's been fun having a little wine with you, Thank sir. Thank you. It's all right, man. Uh, we got He's not going anywhere. We'll talk uh, the uh, game coming up tomorrow night in just a little bit. But on the other side, we've got the Titans trivia gauntlet. Stick around. Yeah. Test your knowledge. Titans Blitz, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you all. Hey, listen, if you're looking uh, for that special gift to find somebody, this is very cool. I don't know if you check this out. Uh, we have a an auction happening, okay? It's at auctions.tennesseetitans.com. Autograph stuff, used gear. It's very cool. Bid on it, and it benefits the Tennessee Titans Foundation, uh, which helps out all kinds of uh, great charity in the area. You can scan the QR code that's on your screen right now or go to auctions.tennesseetitans.com. But scan the QR code because it's very hip, very now, very current. It's very technical, uh, but it's very easy. And it takes you right there, and you can bid on something, and you can get maybe CJ's pants. Is that weird, CJ? We'll talk about that in the next segment. Uh, not the ones he's wearing right now, ones he played in. Anyway, it's time for the Titans Trivia Gauntlet. Yes. Yeah, they're excited about it. Let's get right into it. We don't have a lot of time sitting with me. I have two mics here. I have Santa Mike and regular Mike. Regular. <laughs> one day, one day. Right now he's just an elf. Uh, Mike and Mike, let's get into it. Santa Mike won the uh, rock, paper, scissor contest at the beginning, so he has the first question. They do start off easy, they get harder. Here we go. First question to you, Santa Mike. What was the team nicknamed before it became the Titans? 1999. Was it the Oilers, the Tornadoes, the Texans, or the Cougars? The Oilers. Please say Cougars. No, it was the Oilers. Very good. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, you didn't. Okay. Next question for you, Mike. Uh, what is the Titans' primary logo? Is that a shield, a fireball, a chariot, or a sun? It's like a shield with a sword. Okay, what would you call, like, think of our logo. Let's, what are, you see our logo? Or is it a it's shield, like, a chariot, a fireball? I'll say fireball. Or a fireball? Yeah. Okay, good. I was hoping you'd say fireball. Last help I'm giving you. Okay, cool. Fireball. Next up, Santa Mike. What term is typically used for the group that includes cornerbacks and safeties? Is that the border, the backfield, the secondary, or the flat? Secondary. Secondary. Two points for you, Santa Mike. Regular Mike, you're next. <laughs> the term red zone refers to the offense getting inside which yard line of the opponent? Would that be the 5, the 10, the 20, or the 25-yard line? 20-yard line. 20-yard line! He knows football. Here we go, Santa Mike. How many, they're getting more, they're getting difficult here. How many cross stitches does an NFL football have in its laces? Two, four, six, or eight? Mm, eight. Eight cross stitches, laces out. Finkel and Einhorn, Finkel and Einhorn. Uh, next up, Mike, where did Chris Johnson famously play the bongos during a touchdown celebration? Was it Kansas City, Indianapolis, Atlanta, or St. Louis? A little help from the crowd. He's looking around. Kansas City, Indianapolis, Atlanta, or St. Louis? I'm going to say Kansas City. Kansas City, yes, it was. 
in a sea of red. He just went to town on those things. <laughs> Did not know. Rendition in the next break. Chris, all right, next question for you, Santa Mike. In 2018, whose record did Derrick Henry match to become the second player in NFL history with a 99-yard rushing touchdown? Was it Tony Dorsett, Walter Payton, Bo Jackson, or Curtis Martin? Mm, Tony Dorsett. Tony Dorsett, yes, I believe it was, it was Monday Night Football. Final question, you both get to answer. Regular Mike, we are starting with you. Which Titans player grew up in Auburn, Alabama, but attended the University of Alabama? Derrick Henry, Rashawn Evans, Jayon Brown, or Adam Humphreys? He's feeling it. I think you're trying to trick me. I'm not, I promise. Derrick Henry? Derrick Henry, what say you, Santa Mike? Mm, Rashawn Evans. Rashawn Evans, two points to Santa Mike. It was Rashawn Evans, in fact. Oh. Santa, maybe it's the holidays. Santa Mike wins, congratulations. <laughs> That, one, that was tough. Perhaps this goes into someone's stocking. I don't know. It's oh, a sign A.J. Brown, mini oh, helmet. Awesome. There's nothing regular about you, Mike. <laughs> Mike and Mike, thank you so much for playing. Give them a round of applause. That is a Titans triple ball. we got more Titans blitz on their side. Ho, ho, ho. We'll be right back. Stick around. Coming to you live from Nissan Stadium, downtown Nashville. Lance Smith, Chris Johnson, back with you. Uh, listen, tomorrow night, yes, we've got a game here, but it's also the conclusion of the 2021 Titans raffle. Check it out right here. Uh, scan the QR code. Get in on this. Uh, but the current jackpot, it's up to uh, almost $18,000, over $17,000 oh, right yeah. there. Or you can go to titans.bump5050.com, but I prefer a QR code. Uh, but do uh, you can buy uh, five tickets, uh, $5, 10 tickets, $10, 100 tickets, $20, you name it. Uh, buy as many tickets as you want, and half the money here goes to the Titans Foundation, uh, which benefits a ton of uh, local communities and a lot of people in the, uh, in the area. So do check it out and get as many tickets as you can. We'll announce in the third quarter, right? Third quarter, I'm announcing tomorrow's game. Yeah. So check that out. Um, you can get some tickets, too, if you want, even if you played for the team. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no rules against it. <laughs> Let's talk about this, uh, this Niners team. So they're hot. Yeah. They've won la five of the last six. They're coming in hot. They got something through. They're playing for something. Yeah. Uh, just another game for us. I mean, you can't you can't look at the past. I mean, how do you, as a player, in a mind, put a mindset together to get over these losses and just get ready for this Thursday night game? <clears throat> Basically, you guys just look at the big picture, yeah. knowing like we trying to secure a spot in the playoffs and just have momentum going into the playoffs. I know we didn't lost what three out of the last four. Or whatever, so you don't want to go in the playoffs that way. You want to try to build some momentum, win these last couple games, go in the playoffs feeling good about yourself, yeah, and then shoot for the Super Bowl run. Couple players they have on their team to watch out for um, on defense. We need 11 guys on Debo Samuel. <laughs> I don't think the numbers work that yeah. way, uh, but but that's how I'd play it um, because this guy huh. is uh, playing incredible football, multi talented. Uh, I mean, what do you see when you watch a guy like that? Oh, man, you can put him anywhere on the field. He lines up at receiver, go out there, run routes, catch the ball. They put him in the backfield. He run regular running back runs. Like, they don't just put him in there and run him on reverses and yeah. stuff like that. He ran in between the tackle on some runs and stuff like that. So it's, it's just hard. You just got to make sure you run to the ball and keep an eye on him. Yeah, uh, another guy, and this guy actually calls Nashville home. Uh, George Kittle, tight end George Kittle, he's uh, is, is, is a dynamite uh, tight end, uh, tough as nails, uh, another guy to watch that we've got to shut down. But, I mean, I really feel, CJ, that our defense is up to this challenge. It's just can our offense get on the same page? Yeah, we're definitely up to the challenge. We haven't been having many problems with our defense. We're yeah. going to get to the quarterback. We're going to swarm the ball or whatever. We just need the offense to step up yeah. and make some plays, especially in the passing game. Wouldn't mind seeing a turnover, though, uh, come our yeah, way. Jimmy yeah, G's due. Yeah. Jimmy G is due. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Byard's out there hungry, uh, hungry for one. Uh, yeah, look, hey, it's going to be an exciting game. It's Thursday night football. It's under the bright lights, yeah. the big stage, all eyes watching. Did you have nerves going to these, these tele nationally televised games? No, nah, we love those games. Love it. We're ready for prime time. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we've yeah. done well on prime time so far this year. Yeah. Right? Um, uh, did it against the Rams, against the Bills. We can handle this. This is our house. We're going to show the world what's up. Plus, hey, 
Get there and stay in your seats for halftime. I've seen a little preview myself. I know some people. We've got a killer halftime show. Uh, it's going to be great. Lights. Uh, <laughs> CJ2K, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Johnson. Yeah! Hey, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Happy holidays, man. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas and tighten up as always. Be safe out there. We'll see you here at Nissan Stadium tomorrow night. Tighten up, everybody. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho.